Hey guys, James here from 5 Star Rating 22 here to talk about another technique. So today I want to talk about, or in this episode I want to talk about the technique of base coating. What is a base coat? Well, a base coat is the very um, simplest form of, of, of painting. It's one level of paint, there's no highlights added to it, there's no depth added to it, um, there's no layers on top of it, it is simply one layer of paint. Now, minus that red spot there, this miniature has been completely covered in a green. Ow. I told you before in the priming uh, video that priming and base coating can be sometimes be interchanged or um, used uh, as a same term, but technically this, this miniature has been base coated. He has one layer of paint, no highlights added, other layers on top, again minus the red there. He has been base coated in a green. Now, the reason he is base coated instead of considered primered is because of the paint that I used. This was a regular green paint. It wasn't a primer paint. It was a, a regular paint. So that's the only difference. Now, if it was a green primer, I would say this miniature has been primered. But since it was regular paint, he's just been base coated. So it's uh, it's a fine line. The, the biggest difference is if whether it was a uh, actual primer paint or simply a regular paint so now that's that's how it's been used for as and talking about the whole miniature but uh, you know as I said before as well a base coat is simply one layer of paint no highlights or anything added to it now over here let's say I'm doing the shoulder pad red so I go I grab my paint alright I'm gonna use this red paint put it on my palette I grab my brush get some paint and I apply the red to it. That shoulder pad has been base coated. That's its base coat. It has been based in red. So uh, again it's simply just one layer of paint. I haven't done anything else to it. It's simply red. You could paint up a whole miniature like this uh, doing different things. I might do that one, that segment of the shoulder pad red, middle segment white, that one again red, and it would be, and then do nothing else to it, and I could do the whole miniature, everything different, his skin blue and his pants black, whatever. I can do it all that, I could do it, and that would be a whole miniature done with just base coats. And uh, people do that. It's uh, You can completely do that. They can look rather nice. They're going to look a little more cartoony, but uh, it's completely okay. So that's a base coat. Now what do you need to, uh, to apply a base coat? What kind of paint do you need? Well, any kind of paint will work to paint on a base coat. However, they do make paints that are specifically made for applying your base coats. Now, Games Workshop makes one, the new one. It's called, it's from their baseline, or the base one. So this paint, why is it a base paint? It's a little bit thicker, and it has a higher pigment concentration. By higher pigment concentration, that means that it is going to be more opaque than translucent. This has a lot more color to it than a simple, than a regular uh, paint would have. So it has higher pigment concentration. So it means that you can put this on for your base coats a lot quicker because you can do it in one layer instead of having to put on a few layers on top of each other to get it to get the paint completely opaque and what opaque means is not see-through it's a solid color where translucent is the opposite of opaque so um, and also from the older one it was called foundation it's the same thing it's just higher pigment concentrations a little thicker goes on in less layers but you can base coat in any type of paints uh, it could be um, regular paint from cheap paint from Walmart or the craft store, it could be Vallejo Model Air, it could be Vallejo Game Color, uh, it really doesn't matter, It's you, you can use any paint to base coat. Now, what do you need to apply a base coat? What do you need to put on a base coat? Well, you need a paintbrush. Now, for this first thing where I did the green and he was completely base coated in green, that was through an airbrush. And that was, uh, you know, uh, it was a base coat. You could do that. So a lot of times you'll see me, I do my base, I'll base the whole things. It's not primer because I don't have primer paint. It's just black paint with some others mixed up. That's how I did my Dark Eldar. 
base coat them all on that because then I have my shades done. I just put everything else on. The, I, I paint my subsequent layers on top of that original base coat where I did the whole miniature. And then you go and you start painting on the different uh, base coats of the specific colors that you want. So you need a brush. It's nice to have a softer bristled brush and something that holds water good, something that's going to release the paint well, and you also want one that's not terribly small, especially for when you're base coating, because usually when you're doing your base coats, you're doing larger areas. Um, you're not getting down and doing very little fine detail most of the time, like I'm doing this shoulder pad all red, so you know, it's a larger area, as pants I might do in black, it's a larger area, so by having a bigger brush, you're just going to get it done a little quicker. So, and by having a softer bristled brush, you're going to get on the paint smoother. It's not going to have brush strokes in it. Um, and, and being that this is the base level of paint, every layer that you put on top of that, if this has brush strokes in it, it's going to have brush strokes in it at the end, pretty much guaranteed. So, you want it to go on smooth. So now even though I said they they do make those base coat paints where you can get it on in one layer, it's not always the best choice. Um, it's usually best, you know, it's going to look better doing two thinner layers of paint than it is to do one thick layer of paint. Plus when you do thick paint, you're going to start filling in details, especially with the more levels of paint that you add top, on top of each other. Um, so you you know if you thin it out a little bit and you do it in two thin coats or two thinner coats it's gonna look a little nicer uh, but also you know I mean you could thin it out as much as you want and do it in eight thin coats but then if you're trying to get an army done it's just not practical so you know you you decide to do it what's what suits you best if you want your miniature to look really nice thinner layers are gonna look nicer if you want to get your miniatures done you're obviously gonna save time by being able to put it on in one coat so that's actually that's going to be a personal preference and that's simply it that's a base coat that's um that's all there is to it i know it sounds kind of silly to talk about it but i wanted to try and define it more and give you an understanding especially for people who are new to the hobby or new to the painting uh that's what a base coat is it's one level of paint nothing added to it simply that it's just one solid color that's a base coat Thanks for watching. Hopefully you liked this. Please subscribe, like, leave comments, or tell your friends if this was helpful. Look forward to next or new uh, techniques coming soon. Thank you.